Oh, hey there, Gil Chicken Nuggets. <sighs> it's me, Carl. Mm. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to Grow TV. <sighs> Man, about time y'all showed up. Can I tell y'all something? I am so bored. Golly, I tell you what, this day has just been taking forever. Uh, this day might as well be breathing fire because it is dragging on. <laughs> Get it? Because dragons and the, they breathe fire. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm just so tired. I'm tired out of my mind. My jokes aren't even working. Ah, it's driving me crazy. Did you say you were bored? Oh, hey, Sam. Man, am I glad to see you. You too, Carl. Now, how in the world are you of all people bored? I didn't think that was possible. I didn't think so either, but here we are. Wow. So what's going on? Well, it's pretty simple. Remember how I'm at uh, Disneyland? The best theme park in the whole world. Of course, I love Disney World. It's so fun and, well, dizzy. Totally. So, so far I love everything about this place except two things. Number one, pigeons. Pigeons? Pigeons! They're sneaky, feathery, evil creatures. And they like to steal your snacks right out of your hand when you're not even looking. One got so close to my face it got all tangled up in my hair. <laughs> hey, that's not funny. It took two firefighters and a hairbrush to get it out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to laugh. Please continue. What's the second thing you don't like about Dizzy World? The lines. I cannot stand the lines. When I see a ride I want to go on, I just want to go and get on it. But no. I got to stand in line for 30 minutes and then I get on the ride. And by that time, I'm tired and hungry and being bullied by some pesky pigeons. Oh, I totally get it, Carl. Lines are the worst. But I have a question. Isn't the wait worth it? What you mean? I mean... Isn't standing in line for a little bit worth it if it means that you can ride the fun rides like the ones at Dizzy World? Yeah, I guess you're right. You see, this reminds me of when Jesus got baptized. What? How? Well, because there was a time before people started following Jesus. And there was a man named John the Baptist who loved God. And he went everywhere he could, sharing the word of God to others and baptizing people. This guy sounds cool. But one day, Jesus showed up and John said this. Look, the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. He was telling everyone that Jesus was finally here and he was the one that John was talking about for a long time. And at that moment, Jesus was baptized by John. Wow, that's a huge honor. To be able to baptize Jesus, that's a huge deal. For sure. This was a very important moment because it was after this where people started to follow Jesus. See, there's that saying again, follow Jesus. What does that even mean? Because I've been following people in lines all day and well, it's not getting me anywhere. Well, that's a good question, Carl. John used to baptize people, but after Jesus came, everything became different. People used to follow other people, but after Jesus came along, everything changed. Jesus invites us to follow him. That means to love him and listen to him. When we follow Jesus, we obey him even when it gets difficult. Hmm, so following Jesus is pretty important, huh? Choosing to follow Jesus is the most important decision we will ever make, Carl. It's nothing like waiting in those lines. It's not boring. Instead, it's full of adventure. And I bet following Jesus is always worth it. Always. Hey kids, I'm so glad you got the chance to hear just how important it is to follow Jesus. We can follow Jesus by being kind to others. We can follow Jesus by lending a helping hand. We can follow Jesus by learning more about his words. We can follow Jesus right where we are, which leads us to our big idea. You guessed it, it's we can follow Jesus. So on the count of three, let's shout it out loud, all right? Ready? One, two, Three, we can follow Jesus. Great job, kids. Thank you so much for listening today and I hope to see you next week, okay? Perfect, see you later.
Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of